You are watching Melody Lane With me you're gonna have a great crafting time Good morning everyone Okay, my hair just got a mess just sitting here. I don't know what happened. All right, thank you all for being here. Thank you to Bobby, our channel cheerleader, who gets everyone excited before the video. It is so much fun talking and chatting with all of you in the chat before the video starts. It's one of my highlights of Saturday mornings. Thank you, Beverly Irwin. And thank you, we have three, Rosemary Lynch and Lisa, what was Lisa's last name? Lisa started with an E. Thank you all for supporting my channel and joining my membership. Um, while we're on that subject, if you join, it used to be called sponsor, so I have to switch this picture. But if you join my channel, you get a little badge. It starts with the little cricket, and then after a month, it grows antennas, and then a body after two months. You'll see a lot of bodies in here. Um, their name turns green, and they get a little badge, and then it grows as time goes on. You are watching Melody Lane. With me, you're gonna... Sorry, you had to hear my song twice, Sheila. And if you join while on air, you get a little cheerleader. So you also, joining the channel, you also get special custom emojis. I would love to share those with absolutely every subscriber to my channel, but YouTube doesn't allow it. YouTube only allows it if you join my channel for $4.99. Uh, that's the only option. And you also get all my files to the Cricut Design Space files that I share, there's hundreds of them. So you'll also get all of those. And another thing that I've just added, I don't think I've talked about this in video, I just added, and it's gonna be starting Monday night, I'm going to be teaching how I use my software on my live videos. So I started another Facebook group, but you have to join my channel or patreons who pledge five dollars or more so if you pledge patreon for five dollars or more and or not and or my channel for the 4.99 you get to be in this group where we're going to be teaching how to use the software i use the obs software because a lot of people have asked that and i'm like yeah i'll just share how i do it and try to help everybody set up their own channel so they can do videos like this where you have the chat and I switch it back and forth and I do my intro and all of that and my little logo appears right here. So if you're interested in that, you can always comment, ask me, email me, ask me questions before you want to join anything, if you have questions. All right, so today we are making these earrings and somebody mentioned on Facebook that they're kind of big yeah, they are kind of big. I actually made the file a little smaller, but I'm gonna show you how to make these any size you want. And we have the Zoom Zooms that have the little butt on the back. The Cricut ones, I just reversed it so it's the same on the front and back. But let me grab these. So I showed in a video yesterday how to put the earrings together and how to make these. You can, you do the same thing. Lots of people make earrings out of the faux leather and other things. Like, so if you've never made earrings, you can totally do that. You can watch my video. You don't have to use the images I did. I'm gonna show you how to make your own with your own images. Welcome, Janet, thank you. The more people that join, I think I probably only need five now. I can add more emojis. Um, can somebody throw up all the emojis, like one of each emoji that are they're able to use? You guys, I'm looking at the chat. You guys are amazing. Thank you all. If you're new to my Saturday mornings, we usually come here this morning. Bobby got here at 10 a.m. and we start chatting before the video. 
Okay, let's get started on the reason we're here. I almost forgot what we're doing. Oh, you know what? Before I forget, let me do this because I really appreciate everybody who watches my videos and appreciate all of you, but I can't give everybody a shout out. So there's my emojis everyone is posting. Thanks guys, you guys are amazing. Here's a shout out to a few of the people who support my channel on Patreon. Terry, Janice, Kathleen, Linda, Diane, Lisa, Cynthia, Robert, Keona, Sandy, Ellen, Jennifer, Vivian, Kimberly, Carla, Deborah, Becky, Patricia, Bonnie, Stephanie, Bebe, Carol, Trish, Sandy, Cheryl, Jerry, Lynn, Donna, Kim, Sherry, Maria, Deandra, Christy, Mel, Sharon, Mercedes, Julie, Lindsay, Denise, Tina, Debbie, Susan, Samantha, Claudette, Mandy, and Misty. Thanks, guys. And thank you to all my co-sponsors. Okay, I was reading some of the questions about that. I was doing the shout outs. Uh, Mel Melinda Gibson says, Melody, how do you design files to use Illustrator? I design them in Design Space. And Lori Joe is asking how to join Patreon. Um, if you go to patreon.com slash Melody Lane, there's also a link in the description that I think it says, uh, get all my Design Space files. And then there's a link. And Alex, that was extremely funny. I read some, I missed Alex's thing. He has beard adventures. He's my son. So um, if you want to support him, go just go subscribe to his channel. Uh, he said they're mooning us when you turn them around, these little guys. That's so funny. There's his tail. Okay, now let's get started. Design space. Okay. So here are the ones that I made um, for the Cricut. And I'm just going to show you really fast how I did these. And then I'm going to show you how I did um, the Tsum Tsum ones. And then if you guys have a certain image and design space you want me to do, I will show you how to do that too. So to size this, you can make it any size you want. The hole will be smaller, so you may want to size it before you add the hole. Okay, so it just depends. Okay, so let's find this image. I'm going to search Cricut. Some of these are ones I've uploaded. Um, when I do files, I try to share files that are in access. This one's not in access. So I usually choose this one. It's orange, but you can change the color, of course. Uh, Elise is asking to show how to do a sunflower. Do you, you mean make a sunflower an earring? So the first thing I do is go to the layers panel on this one. And of course, we do not want these colors. We want white and this to be green. And you can choose any green you want. You can go down here and make it a different color of green. I actually think I like that one better. Um, you know what, I'm gonna hide this group just so we're not confused. I'm going to change the canvas to purple so we can see that better. I'm going to bring that like that. Okay, so now we have our image. This is the way it came in, except for I um, changed the colors. So now I'm going to go up here to the top of the layers panel and click duplicate. So we have two of those. First, what I want to do is ungroup these so I'm gonna start with this first one I'm gonna ungroup so we have two pieces we need this piece to cut out of craft board 
that's how I made the um, earrings. Of course, you can do it a different way if you have a different way to do it. But we need the background for this. We need to flatten this. I did print and cut on Cricut vinyl when I made these earrings. So let me shout out to a few of the people oh, who support my channel on Patreon. Okay, so this is the earring that I made. Um, so we need something to print this and it has holes. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna duplicate just that image. We're going to click on it and we're gonna click contour down here at the bottom right. And we're gonna contour, actually we can just hide all contours down here. So it only cuts out the back. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm not gonna do that. I just wanna cut the eyes. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make the eyes white. I'm gonna duplicate it and I'm gonna hit contour. Now, if you don't understand what I'm doing, you may want to um, rewind after the replay. Okay, so now all I want is the mouth. So we're gonna get rid of the eyes and we can see the mouth is the only one here. And I'm so sorry, if you guys hear snoring, it's my dogs. They do snore. Okay, so now we have the mouth. And I'm gonna zoom in so I can make sure I see this correctly. And the eyes. You know what, I bet there's another way to do this. So we can put these in here and arrange this to the back. And I'm gonna go ahead and show another option of doing this. So now we can take this all and flatten it. But to make sure you get it perfect, I'm gonna show you another way. We can, let's hide all contours, okay. So now we have this, oh, but I want the mouth out. Let's take the mouth out. Okay, so now we have the mouth. And this one, I am going to hit contour and hide all contours. So now we have these three pieces. I'm gonna move them down here and we're gonna make it smaller again. So there are different ways to do this. And the thing I was worried about is getting these all even with these, but we don't have to worry about that. We're gonna move the black piece to the back. So we have the black, the white, and the green, and we're gonna select them all, and we're going to align and click center. I think it'll work. Yep, it works perfectly. That's much easier. <sighs> yeah, you hear the dogs. Okay, so they're all selected. We can see over here in the layers panel, these are selected and this one, and we are going to click flatten. Now, and that's only if you want a black mouth, you could totally do a white mouth. Um, you can make these any colors you want. So now this will print on the sticker and we will put it on there. Now, if we want a back piece, we're gonna duplicate this and then we're gonna flip it horizontally so it'll fit the back once that's done. So we cut one piece out for the earring and then these two fronts, but now we need to add the hole. You know, the little hole I have here on the earring. So we're gonna go to shapes. We're gonna add a circle we're gonna make that circle. Now, let's size these. See, these are pretty big. They're like three inches. So I'm gonna grab them all, because you have to size them 
Okay, I don't want this one. Let me zoom back out. We have to size them all together so they stay fitting together. So let's say we only want them a little over an inch for their little head part. So now I'll zoom back out. And so we want, so this hole will be too big. That'll be big. So let's make that about that size. And let's move it up out of the way. We're gonna duplicate it. And then we're gonna make this one smaller. I will make this another color only to show it so you can see it. We're gonna select these both and click align and click center and go down to the bottom and click slice. Pull these out, you don't need those anymore. And then place this over the hole here. Whoops, undo. Okay, so now I have the hole selected and the white Cricut, and we're gonna click weld. And now you have a little circle there to add the earring hooks. So to add, whoops, the little jump ring and earring part two. Okay, are there any questions? Flatten makes it print. I'm reading your questions. Um, let me, oh, let me go back to design space. We're gonna get rid of these. Those are not needed. And then this, I'm gonna hide, and I'm gonna click make it. So now these will print, and I would put printable vinyl in the printer, and then I would put craft board for this to cut out. And when you go to print, you just hit print. It's connecting to my maker, and you can use any Explore machine. Anything I'm showing you here is for any of the Explore or Maker machines. Send to printer. This is my printer, always leave bleed on. I go to advanced options, and then this comes up. I don't know if you guys can see this. I don't think I can make it any bigger. Um, I always go to media and quality, and I put the rear tray, because putting it in the rear, it selects it better, and put best. Media type, if I'm doing cardstock, I always do heavyweight paper. Uh, the printable vinyl, it probably doesn't matter what I choose, but I usually do photo matte paper. And then hit print, and then it's gonna print it out. I'm gonna take the sheet from my printer, load it onto a mat, load the mat onto the Cricut, and it will cut this out. Does that make sense? No, I'm not talking about chipboard. Let me, well, wait a minute. Let me get one that is not opened. Because when it was on sale, I bought a lot of it and a lot of chipboard. Okay, so here is the Cricut craft board. I think you can cut this on, here's the packaging. This is, you. oh, this is all black. They do have a pack where you can buy black, craft color, and white all in one package. So if you wanna try it, if you've never tried it, you can do that. Let me get a piece over here. So this is the craft board. It's thicker than cardstock. I can't even hear it. It makes noise. So 
If you want it even thicker, you could put two of those, cut two of them and put them together too. I get the printable, printable vinyl from Cricut. You could do chipboard, but I was worried about the small circle in the chipboard because the chipboard can't cut, the knife blade can't go really tiny in the circles. You can't cut intricate things with the chipboard, but you could maybe put two or three of these layers together if you wanted to. And if you watched my video yesterday, you see I also sprayed this on it to give it a clear coat. It might be thicker than poster board. Poster board is more shiny and slick, but you could probably use poster board. Um, okay, do you guys want to see me do the Tsum Tsum ones? Polly, I'm not sure if it's thicker than 110. I think it might be. But you could totally, if you have 110 pound cardstock, use that. And if it's, if you want it a little thicker, then just glue two of them together. Okay, let's go back. Yes, I want to cancel the cut. Um, let me just open another design space. And, all right, let me open this. These are the Tsum Tsum ones that we did. And I will bring another one in to show you. I can't make this bigger. So here's how my file is set up. These are all set to print and cut, and they're in little things. And if you are a Patreon or member of my channel, you get this file and you can just like delete the ones you don't want. But let's, I'm gonna select all and just move them all out of the way. And we're gonna go and grab one. We're going to find the Zoom Zoom cartridge. I clicked on cartridges and typed in Zoom. Hit the, the microphone, the magnifying glass. No, the Mod Podge did not make the printed image smear because it's a spray. So let's just bring in Mickey. Now, the Zoom Zoom characters come like this. So you need to ungroup them. And I'm going to move him over. And then group them back separately. So I'm going to group him, his butt. Then we're going to group his face. So they're separately and not stuck together. We are going to duplicate one. Doesn't matter which one we do. Now, to get the solid piece that we're going to cut in the middle to add the little circle to, this is what we have to do. You have to duplicate one, and then while it's selected, it's grouped together. It doesn't have to be grouped, but all has to be selected. You see these three layers selected? We're going to weld. So now we have a piece to print these two, but right now they're in pieces. So let's go ahead and select the face and click flatten. Now it's a print image and you can't see his little feet because of the white background. So there we go. Now we're gonna select this one and we're gonna click flatten. So now these will print to stick onto this, but we need the circle. So we're gonna add a circle. We're gonna size it down. Now, if you want, let's move these together. Select them all. 
you want to make them smaller, say you want tiny ones. Okay. So we need a smaller circle. Maybe like that and then duplicate it in a smaller one. Let's make this one red so we can see it. Let me zoom in so you guys can see it better. Okay, now we're gonna select those and center. Yes, if you laminate them, they will be permanent. And we're gonna click center. They're both still selected. We're gonna click slice. We don't need those two pieces. We can delete those. And you can move this down. Now, you don't have to have the whole entire circle here if you don't want. You could make this smaller after you have it done if you want. All you need is enough room here to add the jump ring. So you could make that smaller. And then select them both. So we have the circle and the Mickey selected, and we're gonna weld. So now we have that. Oh, Marissa, that is a great idea, a little charm bracelet. I was also thinking you could make these into like a baby mobile, um, but I don't even think you need this part. You could uh, glue like wire, or not wire, uh, transparent thread like between this piece and this piece so you could like put the thread in there and glue it in there when you put these pieces together and hang them from a mobile why do you always duplicate because I need two like I duplicated the circle because I needed another circle to put in the other one, I could have just went and got another circle, but I like to start out with the same size. It's just easier and quicker. Are there any questions so far? Yeah, to get these, you have to purchase the Zoom Zooms. Now, um, you can do this with any image. They don't have to, I mean, you can make the little earring things with absolutely any image. Thank you, Jamie. I'm sure she put her little tool to the test. <laughs> she says 110 pound cardstock is 0.3 millimeter thick. Craft board is 0.4 millimeter thick. Poster board is 0.35 millimeter thick. So this, the craft board is thicker than 110 pound cardstock and it is thicker than the poster board. And I really like the texture of it and stuff too. Uh, yeah, if you laminate them, they would be waterproof. But I did use the spray. Okay, Lolly has a great question. Is the flattened button to the left of the canvas and the flattened button in the color palette box do the same? Okay, I only know of one flattened button. Does anybody know of another flattened button? This button here is the only one I know of. There is not a flattened button to the left. Yeah, if you did keychains, I think these would be too flimsy. I would cut these out of chipboard maybe, or you could uh, laminate these or something like that. Yeah, you could use fishing wire. Okay. 
Okay, I'm gonna, we're gonna go on and make another one, but I will show you the finished project. Are these earrings, I made a video yesterday on how to do the earrings, how to add the little things, whoops, and how to do them. So they have their little butts on the other side. And here is a Cricut one I made, which really is kind of big, but it's cute. Okay, let's go to design space. Okay, let's... Okay, I want to do a new project. I didn't want to save that one because that is a file I shared. Let's go to images. Somebody said sunflower. Did you guys see these images in here? They're so cute. Am I like a squirrel? Yeah, I am. Let's find a sunflower. That's pretty. Now you can do this to SVGs too. Okay, let's bring this one in. Okay, we're gonna ungroup. We don't need all of that. We don't need that. I don't want the stem. So because I don't want the stem, but I, I want those little dots. Huh, let's slice it off. Unlock the lock. I'm gonna zoom in for you guys. Move him out of the way. I'm going to select these two and slice. I'm going to add a circle. Make it much smaller. Just enough to cover that stem. Slice that off. Okay, I'm gonna make this brown. Cause that's the color I want it. Um, now, I do not want all these tiny holes cut. I want them printed. So I'm gonna duplicate it. So we have two images and then I'm gonna click contour and I'm just gonna hide all contours. And we're gonna change the color Let's go ahead and make it yellow. Send this one range to the back. Then click, select both of them, and click align and center. Actually, I could have put, we're going to move that one to the front. Now let's select all three of those and align and center. Did I not click it? There we go. So now I have my sunflower. I'm gonna duplicate it. So this one I'm going to weld. So it's all one. You know what? I don't need to do that for this one. Oh yes, I do. I do. I got it. We're gonna change the color. We're gonna make it white. Let's make our background green. Okay, so this one, we're going to flatten. So we can print this out 
and put on there. So we need two of these, but if we, if we wanna put one on the back, we need two, and then you have to flip it horizontally. And actually, I'm going to turn this one like this. It doesn't really matter, but I'm going to put my hook right here where that little piece is. Um, so we need a circle for that. See, instead of just adding another circle, I just like to duplicate the smaller size, make it smaller. I don't even have to move those together. I just have to select them both and click Align and click Center and then Slice. And I'm going to make that a little smaller. Thank you, Petra. And I'm going to move that down. And I'm going to select both of those and weld. Now that, I might needed to make that a little thicker there. We could always go undo. I'm almost thinking I need to redo that circle because the bigger, it's too big of a hole in it. So instead of starting all over, I'm just going to, Let's hide all contours. Did I do that right? No, I didn't. Okay, try again. Okay, so now I'm gonna take one of these. I'm gonna slice it again with a smaller circle. Center and slice. So now it's a fatter circle. And weld. And now to flip these over to make it fit because I flipped the other over like that into the front. Oh, is this the one I flipped? If it is, it won't fit. I mean, it'll fit on the back of it, not the front of it. Yeah. There. When you cut it out, it, it'll fit. There, so you can make little sunflower earrings. Okay, now I'm gonna go back and read some of the chat. If there's questions. Flatten is not in a different space. Flatten has always been at the bottom of the layers panel. Well, except for in the older version, it was at the top, but that's been, I think, two years. Okay, design space in Android is set up different, and in iOS it's different. So flatten, no matter where your button is, it does the same thing. Okay, are there any other questions? Okay, Lolly says there's a print, print button inside the color selector window next to score and write. Oh, yeah, that's correct. This just turns an image into print. Um, let's use this as an example. Let me change the color. Okay, so I'm using this green one as an example. I can click that and do print. 
So that just made it a print image. And let's say we want more layers or we want a shadow behind it. We can make this one print. Okay, so now they're both set to print, but let's go ahead and click make it. It printed them separately, not together where I had put them. But these are exactly how I put them. So I'm going to cancel this. Now, if I want them to print just like this, actually, I would move this to the back and make it more of a shadow maybe behind it, if that's what I wanted. I would have to select them both and flatten together. And then when I hit make it, it prints them both and it's going to cut around the outer shape of it. Now, if, if you only have one image, thank you, Patty, you cannot um, flatten, you can only turn it to print. But if you're going to put it with these, like with a layer, and you want it to print like that, you have to select it all and click flatten. The print and flatten both make things print, but in a different way. You could cut these out in vinyl if you wanted to put layers on them. Oh, Robin, great idea. Could you have sliced the stem with the green stem? So I, could, I probably could have after I sliced. Oh, yeah. I think I could have. I didn't even think of that. Thank you, Patricia. I'm going to try that again. This is just for fun learning. I'm going to ungroup. Thank you, Sarah. Okay, so now they're ungrouped. We're going to move this out of the way. And if these were, uh, let's see. If I didn't move this, it would kind of cut through here. So let me try. See, it cut like a square up here. But then if I was going to turn it around and put the circle there, it would probably cover that up. So that probably would work too. Thanks, Jamie. Yeah, I changed the color of the canvas down here at the bottom. You can change it to any color you want. When you save your projects, it does not save with it. It changes. Hi, Kathy. Ashley, I'm sorry, I don't understand what you're talking about. Yeah, when you flatten an image, it makes it all one piece. See how this sunflower is all flattened, but this one is not? Like, I can change this to print, and I can change this to print, but it's going to be separate. It does it, it still keeps them separate, where when I flatten it, it it's all one image. Thank you, Jessica. Are there any other questions? Does anybody want to call in a question or a comment? I can. Um,
answer questions or I think I can take phone calls. I think. For those of you who uh, support me on Patreon at $5 or more or support my channel, there's a link below to where you can call me. I am still here. See, it's me. And my doggies are making noises. Uh, Polly has a question. Would I be able to send the print file to the house as my studio is five sites up the road? Okay, so if you want to, let's go ahead and show you. You do not have to, um, thank you, Lisa. I clicked make it, okay. Let's continue. You do not have to print it out on your computer. Some people have asked in the past, how can I print it out at work? Because we have a better printer at the office than I do at home. So what we do is we hit send to printer and you can click this. Oh, I'm gonna take this call. Hello, you're on the air with Melody. Hi, Melody. How are you? Good. Who is this? This is Joan. Oh, hi, Joan. This is Miss Superklutz to everybody watching who knows her. Hi, Melody. Oh, you need to turn your volume down. This is Joan. Okay, I just turned the sound off. <laughs> I just called to say good morning, and I'm having a blast and can't wait to make these earrings. Awesome. You'll have to send me a picture of some earrings you make and I'll share them. Okay. Um, I'm going to have my hubby take me to Hobby Lobby soon so I can get all the stuff. Okay. Awesome. Okay. Thanks, sweetheart. Love Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye. Okay. So now what I was showing you is, oh, you know what? We are not in design space, are we? Let me cancel this and show you from the beginning. Oh, okay. So we're going to go to send to printer. This is after I hit make it. And I'm going to click here and print to PDF. And print. Now what this does is I can click over here and click save as PDF and sunflower, I'm gonna put test because this isn't something I'm going to keep. And I can put what folder it's on, let's put it on the desktop and click save. And thank you, uh, Sabrina. Now let me find it on my desktop. Here it is. Let me drag it over to this desktop. Oh, can you guys see that? Let me see. No, you can't because the chat is in the way. Okay. Here it is. Now the cricket's in the way. <laughs> So I can open this up and then I can save this. I could email this to myself at work. I could put this on a flash drive and take it to Staples or Office Max and have them print it. And then once I have it printed, I can bring it back home to my Cricut and cut it. But you have to save the file and it has to be the exact same file. Does that make sense?
Okay, do we have any other questions? Oh, yes, Mary, thanks for that. Let's go back up to print. Uh, I'm going to change it back to my printer. I'm going to click Advanced Options. One problem people have sometimes is, um, is it layout? Sometimes it's not 100% I'm not sure which one it is, but the size is not to 100%. Maybe it's settings. No. I don't re remember where it's at on here. Every printer is different. So if you don't have my printer, your thing here will look different. Okay, so how many people learned something today? And if you didn't learn, if you knew everything I taught you, that's fine. That means you've been watching a lot of my videos. So did I inspire you to do something different today? Yeah, um, the print screen. So when you take this, like say you printed this at the office, um, all you have to do is come here. It says, you know what, let me cancel it because it doesn't say it anymore. And then we're going to go back and continue. Now, oh, right here it says I've already printed. So if you had this printed at the office, and if you're going to do that, I would print more than one just in case there's any mistakes, or to have them on hand if it's something you may make later on. You might as well print more because you can always open up the same file and have it printed. So you click, I've already printed. And then you can choose the material that you printed on and go on. Shelly wants a golf cart ride. Hey, Alex, do you wanna go for a golf cart ride? Yeah. Okay, maybe me and Beard Adventures will go on a golf cart ride for you guys. You know, we're doing it all for you. <laughs> I like golf rides. Well, I love golf cart rides too. Oh, we got another call. Let's answer it. You are on the line with Melody Lane. Who am I speaking with? Hi, Jessica Sala. Hi, Jessica. Good, so glad you called. I am too. Wow, you picked up fast. <laughs> I love what you're sharing, and I was thinking, I am inspired. I'm going to try it out with some um, jeans I've been collecting that don't fit me anymore. Oh, cool. Yeah, I'm going to try that. But I was wondering, Melody, because you're not answering. I'm like, oh, yes, I could finally reach her. Are you going to make the envelopes because I've never made an envelope. Yes. Um, I will try to make the fatter envelope to fit the gumball machine. I haven't done it yeah. yet. I got involved with the earrings and everybody oh. wanted the earrings. So I did that, but I will work on the envelope. Okay. Okay. Just wanted to call my first time calling. I'm so excited. Well, thanks for calling. <laughs> thanks Melody. Uh-huh. Bye-bye. For everything you do. Bye. Polly says she's inspired and confused. Polly, I suggest re-watching the video um, and trying it. So when I do something, pause the video and then you do it. This is the best way to learn because you guys might not remember how I did everything. So re-watch it, see what I did, and then you go to Design Space and do exactly what I did and then replay, start the video again from where we left off and watch a little bit and do what I did, pause the video and then do what I did. Some people watch the video on like an iPad or tablet 
and then use the computer for design space, that might help. But you can pause the video and try it yourself and then start again or replay it if you need to. And I am always happy to answer questions in my Facebook groups or um, in the comments below. And did I tell you guys about my maker event in my Facebook group? There's a link below in the description. On Tuesday from 10 to 10, we're going to have a maker event. We're going to be doing lots of live videos all day long on Facebook and some on YouTube. And we're going to be doing different projects and you guys can request things that you want to see and I will do them. Thank you guys so much. And we do this every Saturday at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. Yeah, Connie, Connie did the bubblegum card last night. That turned out awesome. For those of you that didn't see it, Sorry, I don't know why I have it on that still. I'm just looking at the chat all the time. Look, it got darker in here. So here's my bubblegum card if you didn't see this. Now it's fine. And it works. Most of the time. Oh, there, there it is. It's with mini M&Ms. And somebody says they're gonna use Red Hots. Is that what they are? The little Red Hots or Skittles. And this is done with my digital paper, which is not available yet. I still have to work on that. But I printed this on craft board. You could probably use a 110 pound cardstock for this, but I wanted something heavy because of the chipboard that's inside here and the M&Ms make it heavy. It's oh, and it's refillable. So you can take out this top and fill it back up when they're gone. So this video was on Thursday. And then that fits back in there. Yeah, the card looks yummy, doesn't it? Thanks, Joan. Um, yeah, everything, actually, everything I used on it, all the white was craft board. There's chipboard inside and inside around here, too. This is made of chipboard can see on the back, but it's covered with craft board because on the other ones, this I just I just used all craft board. You would I mean you could probably use white card stock in these areas. I printed um, this is printed and that's on card stock. And somebody asked, they said they unflattened it to change the font but the circle went away. The circle is actually the font. So these circles I made just from basic circles, but this circle is actually the font. Now you could, if you want to change the font, take away the whole font and add these circles and add a font to the circle and place them where you want them and flatten. Uh, Lisa, in my community on YouTube, you can find, all the, you have to scroll back down and you'll find the, the file to this. Uh, so on, let me show you YouTube. Oh, that doesn't work. 
I typed UJ. Let's go to my channel. Okay, let me flip over. Okay, for those of you who are joined my channel, you can go to community. And then some of these are available for the public, but some of them say members only. Okay, so those that say members only, if you're not a member of my channel, you can't see that. But if you do, you can see it and you can click read more. So here's a file I shared. Here's a file I shared and if you click read more, you'll get the link to these. This one is for everyone. This one is inside here, I think is the link to the gumball machine. Let me see. I'm not gonna see, yeah. You will see the link to the gumball machine there. And on Patreon, uh, you'll see it too. Um, if you don't have the maker or to use the craft board, you could use um, you could use cardstock and layer it a lot, layer it to be pretty thick, and uh, you could use foam board and put paper in between. Not foam board. You cannot cut foam board even on the maker. Not foam board, foam, just like the fun foam or the craft foam, and then put paper in between each piece of foam. Glue them together. Yeah. All right, guys, I'm going to let you go. And thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate all of you who come here every Saturday morning. You guys are amazing. I really appreciate you all for being here. And we will be here next Saturday. And... I'll be live all day on Tuesday and Thursday. There should be another video. I'm not sure what it will be yet. All right, guys, I love you and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. I might be back with the golf cart ride. It's not raining. We'll see how long that lasts. It rains every day here. All right, bye guys.